expand on that. I mean, can you give me? It's just what it's I said. It's just that. All right. That's, that's cool. Uh, when you. <laughs> Again, you, you had to know what you were going to get with Mike. It's also very interesting to see him as the fight gets closer because again I, I wasn't alive when mike was in his prime and how he used to react and honestly mike wasn't a uh -huh. part of an event of this magnitude in his career right even the holy field the the, the linux what? lewis like these fights that were 15 20 000 people and and did have so many eyes on them millions of pay-per-view viewers in his day he didn't have this kind of fanfare in person right he wasn't on these big stages with these lights and these people in the crowd and this production and netflix and i don't even think he'd even done an open workout ever in his career before like he did yesterday which is probably why he was going so hard <laughs> and no one else was okay and this guy was the moderator of that thing that open workout listen to him mike tyson has never been part of an open workout bro this is not mike's first or second exhibition it's not knowing right like it's just being comfortable being grown adults not knowing whatever happened before your time glue to their phone kids bro of one's generation past <laughs> scrooge schmeck whatever is coming to haunt us man like that's how fast this shit goes to me this guy looks my age okay i'm grayer than him i'm just that good looking i guess I've witnessed a bunch of shit, man. I'm nostalgic with it, you know what I mean? I have links to the 70s and all that. 60s. Stunted. Adults, you know what I mean? Telling us about how Mike Tyson has never been part of a boxing match. Like, bro, have you ever seen Mike Tyson when he went to Japan the first time? When he fought, uh... <clears throat> Damn. He fought a good heavyweight contender. There's videos, like home videos of Tyson's, where he's basically being hounded, you know, by photographers, fans. He can get overwhelmed. Like, he's not Ali. But he got that. He was a real superstar, my guy, in the 80s. Oh, uh, goodness. That's what time does, you know? A guy like Mike Tyson seems, like, irrelevant compared to a guy like Jake Paul. But in reality, talking about pre-internet fame, bro. You understand that Jake Paul wouldn't be like a crumb compared do you understand that the internet had sanitized a bunch of heroes of ours that really had legend status if you think about mythology zeus achilles we all like the marvel comics just by hearsay by by written history we had still a link to that time for over thousands of years you know what i mean a tale can be weaved that can entertain us for years now we have sanitized mike tyson and Patrice O'Neill, maybe I'm gonna play the clip after, where he's on Charlie Sheen's roast. Mike Tyson is one of the roasters on the panel. Patrice basically puts it like how disappointed he is, how Mike Tyson has been defanged by society, ridiculed, outcast, and um, welcome back. You know, it's whatever they do to us, man. Take us out. A hot boxing podcast at first was like almost spiritual. Then they got sponsors, they got the money backers, they stripped them, whatever made them unique in the first place, you know what I mean? Also, like they oversaturated us with access to fucking Mike Tyson. Before that, Mike still had a certain mystique about him, you know what I mean? But the more you put him in front of our face, man, it loses its value. We're seeing you too much, man. That's what made celebrities celebrities back in the day. Us not having access to them, man. Now it seems like every celebrity is on YouTube as a podcast. So that kind of disqualifies you, in my mind, from celebrity. But this guy, right, like he's how old, maybe 30? You know what I mean? You don't look like a young man. One generation removed, I understand, he has obviously the, the delivery, you know? He's a presenter. Just throwing this shit out into the ether. Yeah, but this dude, right? Like, no excuse, man. I don't think 30-year-old niggas have really excuses. At some point, you just gotta go backwards, you know what I mean? Like, know where you come from so you know where you're going type of deal. I feel like I got a link to the past, in a sense, where I'm still, like, half young. And I think I'm still half young. You listen to me as great as a motherfucker can get. It's a choice. <laughs> well, trying to bring it back to a serious point. So what, what, what you gotta say, bro? What you're gonna get with my. It's also very interesting to see him <laughs> as the fight gets closer because again, I, I wasn't alive when Mike was in his prime and how he used to react. And honestly, so that gives you no fucking authority to fucking comment on the next part of your sentence. Like, what the fuck? Mike wasn't a part of an event of this magnitude in his career, right? Even. Because you're part of it, right? Like, would you say that if you weren't a part of this fucking event? You probably still was, you know what I mean? Trying to get into the good graces of whatever. <laughs> trying to 
transients, but also like maybe it's a hate farming, engagement, trolling. The Holyfield, the, the, the Linux Lewis, like these fights that were 15, 20,000 people and, and did have so many eyes on them, millions of pay-per-view viewers in his day. He didn't have this kind of fanfare in person, right? He wasn't on these big stages with these lights and these people in the crowd and this production and Netflix. And I don't even think he'd even done an open workout ever in his career before like he did yesterday, which is probably why he was going so hard and no one else was. We love that because it's really Mike. I thought Jake had... did a workout that's why it was going so hard like there's always this diminishing i see this from burnt and sharp also they pick up and tear you down in the same sentence but i'm over this right now and my fucking laptop is dying so yeah peace out i love mike tyson and i don't have much to say i, I as a fan of mike tyson as a fan as a i, I love him and i don't mean yeah i love Fuck him. you I, I love you man <laughs> I'm just disappointed and hurt at how much comfort white people have around you now. I don't, I don't like it. 